This is Completely Stupid, and welcome back to another body cam special where we watch Karen uh, try to avoid getting arrested but fail spectacularly to doing so. Here we have someone who was speeding down the road, who was going as fast as they possibly can and got caught by the cops so they pulled her over. According to the police officers, she was going 91 miles per hour down a 25 zone. But don't worry, it gets worse. Let's get into it. Guys, hey, so the reason why I'm stopping is you got up to 91 miles an hour. To 41 miles an hour. 91? So 91. Okay. I am 100% serious and not even joking. Okay. So that's the reason why I'm stopping. Oh, okay. 25. Can you Romeo 21? Do you have your last registration permit insurance? Romeo 21, can you throw over with Romeo 25? I have my insurance on my phone. I'm that's perfectly fine. Yep. What is, what is this plate? I just re-registered my car, so these are my old plates. No, but you have one right. You have one on the car right now. I do. I have my Florida plate. I just That's switched, fine. but they gave me all my paperwork with these plates. I'm pretty sure my registration is still in the mail. So this is my old one. You still live in Pompano? I do. Yeah. This is my address. So this was my old registration. I just re-registered this car like a week ago. Um. That That's fine. Yeah, do you just have the insurance on your phone? Yeah, I have my insurance on my phone. Okay. Right. So you still live here in Pompano? Or where, yes. are you, where are you coming from? You're going home, obviously, right? Yeah. Where are you yeah, coming I'm from? Yeah, I'm headed home. The standard. You work there? Right up the road. No. I oh, know. You're just... No. Okay, all right. This is my insurance policy. I don't know if you need that, like, number. Uh, I can just give you... No, no, that's fine. All right, I'll be back. Appreciate okay. you. All right, Cheyenne. Can you step out for a second, please? Just leave your stuff in the car, you'll come back. We'll go over here to the sidewalk so we don't get hit. Can you spit out the gum? Just spit it, just spit out the gum on the grass. Yeah. Okay, how much you had to drink? What was that? How much have you had to drink? Um, I had three martinis. I've been there for two and a half hours. So three martinis over two and a half hours? Yeah. But they weren't all at once. They were like over time. Yes, very okay. spread out. Right. I didn't even finish the last one. Okay. Are you willing to do field sobriety to make sure you're good to drive home? Yeah. Okay. Right. So what we're going to do is, I'm technically not supposed to do this by myself, so there'll be somebody else coming. That's just how our policy is, okay? That's why you stand here. I just have to move my car back. Do you understand? Yeah. All right. So don't go in. After moving his car, the officer goes through all the typical pre-ramble that you do with one of these sobriety sober sobriety tests where you pretty much like check, hey, do you have any form of medication and prescriptions you're taking? Do you have any under underlying health conditions? And just for a brief summary, she has a, a marijuana medical license card. She has... She's currently wearing contact lenses, which are prescriptions, and she's also had a concussion about six months ago, though according to the doctors and what she says, it does has not led to any form of long-term health problems. Effectively, she is all healthy. If she isn't drunk out of her mind, she should be able to perform these tests pretty well. Let's get into them. So for this exercise, I'm gonna move this light around. What color is the light? Red. Okay, so this light is gonna go left and it's gonna go right. Mm -hmm. Now, as you follow the light with your eyes, do not move your head. So then if you look at my eyes, okay? So if the light, let's say, go this, goes this way, right? I'm gonna follow it like this, mm -hmm. all right? I'm gonna go back the other way. I'm gonna go back the other way, following the light, okay? I don't want you to try to move your head to try to follow the light. Does that make sense? Gotcha. It's simple? Mm -hmm. Okay, are you ready to begin? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Alright, we're gonna go up towards the sky. Mm -hmm. What is it you were telling me? I couldn't hear you because the train. I was just saying the train is quite distracting. Do you have any questions? Do you understand everything I told you? Yes. Are you ready to go? Mm -hmm. You feel confident? Yep. Okay. You can begin when you're ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, Done? Okay. All right. Ten. Four. So, face me. All right. So for this exercise, I'm going to have you raise one leg. It's called the one leg stand. So like, I'm going to have you stand on one leg. Okay. While you're counting up, I'll be keeping track on my watch. Begin. Count out loud. Three, four, 
Bravo, 43, all units and four. Stop. That was 30 seconds. Okay? All right. Next exercise we're going to do is called finger to nose. So it's going to look like this. Left, right, left. That's it. Understand? Okay. Any questions? Okay. Look all the way up to the sky and close your eyes. You ready to begin? All right. Keep my eyes closed. Keep them closed, yeah. Left, right, left, right, right. Left. Nice. Okay. Last exercise. Open your eyes. For this exercise, I'm going to have you count to 30 in your head. Okay. You're going to approximate the passage of 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Most people accomplish this by counting the 30 in their head. Okay. Once you reach 30 seconds, you're going to tell me that you're done counting because obviously it's going to be silently inside of your head. Begin. Just tell me when you get to 30. Okay, that was 38 seconds, okay? Just so you know. All right, just release your arms like this. Before we jump into the next part, how do you think she did based upon those tests? Do you think she's good? Do you think she's screwed? Or do you think it's all the above? <laughs> I mean, come on, you know where this is going. Let's go on. Okay. You can be placed under arrest for DUI, all right? Um, sorry? You're going to go to jail for DUI. Why? Can I, can I ask why? You can. Because you have shown sufficient indicators for me to believe are you able to breathalyze me and prove that? Yes, ma'am. I will give you the opportunity. It will be your choice. I would like that opportunity because I do not believe that is the correct assumption. You will absolutely be provided that opportunity as I am required to provide everybody, okay? All right. So this female officer, female officer to my left, I'm not going to search you. Obviously, you're a girl. The female officer is going to search you. Do you have anything on your clothes? I do have my medical pen in my waistband of my Okay, she'll remove it. That's, that's not a crime. It's fine. Yeah. All right. Walk with me, ma'am. I'm sorry. I highly disagree with this. Okay, I'm just, I'm just here to search you, okay? I know. I would just I'll like... Spread your feet for me, please. The opportunity to be breathalyzed fairly mm. before I'm accused of this because... So, of course, based upon what we just saw, she is getting arrested for DUI because, according to the police officers who just watched all these exercises, there is reason to believe that she is drunk, effectively. And, well, our, pers our Karen here is not exactly happy with that fact, so now she's going to start rambling and requesting for that breathalyzer test pretty uh, obsessively, I would say. You are going to get a breathalyzer, okay? But just the way the process works, we have to do this first. I'm going to take you to the breathalyzer. You understand? I know. All right, so I just, just have just, so many other just, things. Like, I, I didn't right. even drink that much today. Right, okay. I literally only had right, the three drinks. Okay. Like, I told you. You can hey, go back to the bar. Listen, I believe you. You got to bear with me, okay? This is how the process goes, all right? I'll take you back to my station. I will provide you the opportunity to give a breath sample. I promise you I will. All right? You understand? It's all on body one. I ain't lying. I know it's just it's right. just shitty. I know, you know it's stressful. Either way, like, I know it's stressful, but this is how the process our works. Our responsibilities okay? I have to get to. Like I was I out drinking and driving. It's all just right. fucking stupid. It really is. Okay. Ma'am, are your dreadlocks like an attachment or that's your hair? They're, they're in my hair. So are they attachments that can come out? No. No. Okay. Just stand still for me. <coughs> to the local station now will finally take that breath test that she's been begging for this entire time and will she fulfill her promise of the fact that she's not drunk let's find out Okay. 
your first sample was a 124 and your second sample was a 132, so you were 1.5 times the real one. Okay. All right. Now I need a video of the recording. The date is uh, March 13, 2023, and the time is approximately. So, you weren't drinking, you weren't drunk driving, right? 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 So why are you 1.5 times over the legal limit? Oh boy! <laughs> that is a, that is gnarly. On a real note though, um, the fact that you are 1.5 times over the legal limit and are speeding way over the speed limit, like that's just a mixture of two horrible things that you got really, really lucky didn't become an actual disaster. Like, you were going way over the speed limit by the in, in, in insane magnitude. And you are also over the legal limit. Those, those factors don't mix well. Anyway, she was charged with her first DUI after getting caught going 91 miles an hour. She requested a breathalyzer multiple times. The system results would prove her incidence. However, the test showed blood alcohol levels were 1.5 times the legal limit. She pleaded not guilty and the case is still ongoing. At least that was the information from a while ago. It's wild to say the least that there are people out here like, I didn't do anything, I'm gonna cry and cry and cry as much as I can. The query becomes, did you actually only drink three martinis tonight? Or did you have more than that and lied to the police about it? Very interesting case to say the least. On the 16th of February 2023 in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, police responded to a 911 call that was triggered by an Apple Watch as a car crash had occurred. Were you in the car? I just... Was it just her? Delivery right now, but oh yeah, I, so. hey, I've met you before. Yeah, you're good, man. Okay. Yeah, take it. Did you see it happen, or did you just come I up just on it? I pulled over, and I wanted to make sure. She was okay. You okay? Are you injured? No. What happened? I just wanted to go home. Where are you coming from? <laughs> Do you remember which way you were going? Yeah. Which way? Can you run a Kristen? She should be in house. So the tire marks come from the wrong side of the road. She five five. Probably. I was gonna say she's done this before. So. All right. I'll start snapping photos. Yeah. We'll wait till rescue. Is she doing okay? Yeah, she's not injured. Okay. You know you're in for a good time when the police automatically go, "Yep, ah, uh, she's probably drunk." <laughs> That's probably how this happened. She's probably drunk. What's your name? Why? Well, you were in a crash. And the uh, fire department's gonna come and check you out, just make sure you're not injured. As long as you're not injured, you don't have to accept any care from them, but since you got airbags deployed, they're probably just gonna ask you a couple <laughs> questions. Are you Kristen? Yep. Do you got your license on you? Yep. Hey, Kristen, what's a phone number for you? Any luck with that driver's license? Nah, don't worry about it. Hey, what's your current address? Uh, what city? Lake Geneva. Stop! Son of a bitch. You got car insurance? Yeah. Who's your auto insurance? Ugh. Um... It's West Bend. Stop calling! Uh, where were you coming from? <laughs> Champs. And you said you were going home? Yep. So... If you don't mind me asking, it looks like your tire marks come from the wrong side of the road. You said you were going this way, right? Yeah. And you're familiar with this area, right? So what what happened that led you to it be on blew. the... It blew. It blew. What does that mean? My tire blew. Your tire blew? My tire blew. You sure about I that? I don't have... I don't have winter tires. So it blew. Um, and how did that lead you? Give me two seconds, fellas. I'll come to you. On the wrong side of the road? It's just my partner. No. What is? Just some rubberneckers. Just want to see what's going on. No. No. She, uh, my partner over here. She I have it all on. She hit you. I have, she came. I have it on video. It. Um, how many drinks did you have at Champs? Zero. 
Um, you gonna start being honest with me at any point? No, I had zero drink of champs because I went to Magpies. Come on, you you. <laughs> I can't believe that choice of answer is just like, did you have any drink of champs? No. Uh, when are you gonna start being honest with me? I didn't have any drinks of champs. I went to Magpies. Why didn't you say that the first? <laughs> like, <laughs> God, what is this? Champs. How many drinks do you have at Magpies? But yeah, watch, you can see the impact right here. Just be honest, Kristen. I know you had, if, I'm, I'm I know being you had honest. a couple. Do you want to arrest me? I know you had a couple. It's okay if you, if you I only... had zero at Champs. And at Magpies? And... What kind of drinks? Listen, if you had just a couple, then that's fine, right? But if you had too many, well then I had gotta... zero at Champs. I got so that. So if you, if you want to arrest me, arrest me. So... Are you willing to do some? She definitely knows she had an incriminating amount at Magpies because she refuses to even acknowledge the fact that she said she went to Magpies. She will just keep harping on the fact I had zero champs. I won't talk about Magpies. We don't. We're not here for that. You can just arrest me instead. She knows. <laughs> oh my. And that. Okay. Getting rid of the laughter for a moment. That's just. Wow. Horrible. Field sobrieties. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Um. So it's kind of cold out would you rather do them in a we have a heated garage at the police department just because the ground's all slippery and it's pretty cold outside so we're gonna have to tow the car anyways so why because it's not drivable your front, why? your front end's all smashed up why i don't know the simple fact that your airbags have popped kind of indicate that you were in a pretty bad crash because the impact to your vehicle was high enough was well, big enough that the airbags popped like, yeah, legally you can drive a car when the e-bags are popped in America. But, uh, you know, you probably should look at the rest of your car to see if what the damage was that caused the airbags to pop. I don't know. You okay? No. It's wrong. Okay, so none of the tires blew out. Stop. Just toss your cell phone in your purse. Make sure you got the keys. 726, do you want to get a flatbed rolling, please? Well, what's up? She says she's not injured. Is that true, Kristen? Or are you? Yeah, no, we're good. Okay. Did you give yourself a feel over? Make sure there's no blood anywhere. We're good. You don't want to get seen at all? No. Nope. You want me to check you out? We're good. You don't want me to do anything? We're good. Okay. Well, thanks. So, got everything, uh, grab your cell phone and your keys. Come on, Kristen, let's get this going. What's your first name again? Kristen. Kristen? Yeah. Hey, Kristen. What? Calm down for a second, okay? Okay. Stop. Only get you out of the car because you hit the tree pretty hard and there's a lot of damage to your front of your car. I get it. Hold on. Hold on. I get it. You don't want to go to the hospital, okay? But. I need to get a re what's called the refusal of release on you. So let's get you out. We'll get on the ambulance. I'll ask you a couple questions and boom, I'll have you sign and we're out of here, okay? Yes or no? Okay. First of all, is it hard? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm gonna help you out of the car because I don't want you slipping and falling, okay? Okay, okay. I'm gonna go over here, okay? You got your. Here, I'll okay. Your, can I grab your phone for you, Kristen? We're going to the side door, okay? No. No. No, we're not. No. Nope. Kristen, we got to go. No, inside. we're not. No. Nope. We go inside. Come here. No. Kristen, come here. We're not. Kristen, he we're just needs you to sign. No, he just not. needs you to sign something. I just need you to sign something, and then you're in and you're not. out. Kristen, come on. We can't do this in the middle of the road. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Just got yeah, some we people. can. No, we we're not. Yeah, we can. It's cold outside. I am not. It's cold outside. You're not going anywhere. The cop will go in there with us. We're not. Come on. No. Well, you're not getting out here he, in the cold. All he needs is okay, a signature well, from you. Okay, well, my ex-husband. All, all he needs is a signature yep. from you. Sooner, I don't care about your ex-husband. The sooner we get this done, the sooner we can get on our we way. We can just get you to the side. We're not going over there. Why not? Explain to me why not. We're not. Why? <sighs> Man, I wonder, how smashed is she? Like, legitimately, she's just sitting there just having incomplete sentences. We're not. We're not. 
we're not no we're not it's like can you at least like complete the sentence why are we not why are we not doing this just because we're not oh something oh my ex-husband that's it that's all you're gonna say like your thoughts are not completing in your head and you're blurting them out before they complete like I i'm pretty sure that's a very very clear sign of severe intoxication here or potentially some form of injury that has occurred from this crash that you have had. All they're asking for you is a signed paper saying, no, I did not want treatment for this crash. Good day. You gotta let me do my job, okay? No. Why not? No. <laughs> Kristen, it's cold out here. You don't have a jacket on. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't say you did anything wrong, did I? I just need you to go in there with me. Could I no, ask you a couple no. questions and then we're out? No. Why? You want to get back in your car then and we'll do it in your car? How about you get in the back seat, sit in there, and then we'll do it in your car? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Oops, yes. got a kid seat there. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right. Okay. What was all that about over there? So she actually hit one of those cars over there at the intersection and tried to run. So oh, she did? Hit and run. Okay. Um, is there damage oh, to that yeah. car? Yeah. Okay. No injuries, though? No injuries. Okay. I did not oh, hit anything. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Oh, God. I did not hit anything. Well, that's not entirely true. I... What did I hit? What did I hit? Is it going to be a surprise to you if I tell you? What did I hit? Hit a tree. Do you not remember that? A tree. Off. A tree. Um, she's getting there. A tree. All right, don't get in the driver's seat, though, okay? A tree. Okay, I hit a tree. Kristen, don't get in the driver's seat. I hit a tree. Oh, easy, easy, easy. I hit a f***ing tree. Let's get checked out by EMS here. All right, well, guess what? Let's just go. 195. She just pushed you. Yeah. We just see obstructing. Yeah. <laughs> a tree? You got the right arm and all. A tree. Kristen. Get the out of here! Okay, don't, don't kick. We can fix it when it's correct. It's secured. Get the f out of here! Crystal correct. You got a right arm yet? No. Get Yes, yes, Christian, this is exactly how you deal with this type of situation. By refusing to be arrested, by resisting arrest, being extremely grumpy about this because all you see is like, oh, I just hit a tree. Who gives a f about a tree? I'm moving on. I'm done with my day. You're like, do you think that's a bright idea? Hold on a moment. Why am I trying to give common sense sensualities to someone who is clearly drunk out of their mind of course they're not gonna care they're just gonna do whatever they think because they're not thinking correctly all they see is like this is stupid i want to go home that's just because she's drunk out of her mind get out of here <laughs> Should we call out that she's 95 yet? Yeah, I mean, we've got resisting obstructing. She's currently trying to kick me, so. Go for it. Go for it. JCA, <laughs> probably illegal. All right, um, where's she going in my car? Uh, we're gonna go for four point restraint. I'd say if you could try to do a search a little bit. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're keeping her pop, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can. Yeah, would you guys be okay if we do four points? That's fine. Fanny pack type. <laughs> I was on the phone. Oh, Alright. It's got a buckle on the next one. Okay. <laughs> so, can you just go wait in your car? We'll come talk yeah, to you in a second. I'm parked right behind the fire truck. Okay, I'll come talk to you in a hot minute. Thank you. I was going to put her purse and phone in my car. Now you're sitting. Okay. Perfect. No. What was the deal? No. Oh, I'm not going to turn again. Yep. Get up. No. No. You said you were going to pull for it, didn't you? What the fuck? What? 
Kristen was transported to the hospital where she was read her rights and an evidentiary blood test was taken. Reports did not indicate Kristen's BAC. She was then medically cleared before being taken to jail. So yeah, I'll type up that OWI and then eventually I'll write her a ticket for wrong way on a divided street, hit and run, yep. And then you're just being obstructed and we can lock her on that. Uh, I would say she's definitely a danger to herself or others. Yeah. Lock your back so, Yeah. Thanks. All right, I'm going to go talk to ex-husband real fast. Thanks. So, obviously, so she's on the phone with you? Yeah, and then she hung up, and then I tried calling her back, and I got nothing. Okay. I was, I was telling her, because I could tell, like, let me come pick you up. And that's when she just hung up, and then it was like a kind of like I kind of heard something, but I wasn't sure, so... So she got into obviously a car accident. Yeah. yeah. And then she's been drinking. Yeah. So is she being taken to the hospital or the So unfortunately or she's she... going to the hospital. Yes. And then she's gonna go to jail for the night. Okay. Um Is she okay? Yes. Yeah, um she couldn't I couldn't like bail her out early until it was an overnight thing or uh so my partner is the one that's going to be doing all the charges and stuff, okay. and I, it just kind of depends whatever he wants. Okay. But I would say it's probably going to be tomorrow sometime. Tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. I'm just going to leave in the text a speech that occurred over it when she was being taken to the ambulance so you can get the idea of what happened there. Anyway, she ultimately got citations for an OWI, hit and run, wrong way on a divided highway, and failure to control a vehicle. And she was actually charged with and found guilty of hit and run and resisting an officer. So, uh, great things to add to your record there brilliant person you've you done well today <laughs> oh man it, it it i question a lot of things that people like this do and i just question how like what do you end up feeling like the next day when you're sober and you now know what you what you get you get told what you did you get told not only did you crash into a tree and very badly damaged your car probably a write-off but potentially depending on how much damage actually occurred via the tree here not only did you do that you also managed to hit another car in the intersection just prior to your crash here and you leave them at the scene you're driving down the wrong way of a highway and of course you're drunk out of your mind it's I just question how these people think the next day when they've got a sober mind. Do they actually care about these things that they did? Are they going to learn their lesson? Maybe. Maybe not. Some people just never do. They will keep repeating these same mistakes over and over again and never learn the lessons of, well, that you shouldn't do this, you know?